Hey guys, welcome back. Wait, just wait one second. I just feel so thirsty. <laughs> I've been doing so good. So wait, before we jump into the video, best beauty secret ever is drinking lots and lots of water. It is so difficult for me to drink water, but I've actually been doing pretty good. I've been drinking water basically since the new year. <laughs> 13 days <laughs> um, but I'm actually proud of myself because usually I'm like I'm only gonna drink water I don't drink water for one day and I'm like fuck that where's the lemonade you know um, but I've been actually doing pretty well and drinking lots and lots of water so number one beauty tip I can ever give you guys is to drink lots and lots of water we're made up of basically all water anyway so you just want to keep hydrating the body okay now that we're done with our beauty tip of the day Today, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I kinda wanna do like a bombshell -y, sexy look. I hate using the word sexy. I don't even know what I'm gonna go for yet. I don't know the eyeshadow colors or the lip color that I'm gonna use, but I have enough makeup surrounding me that I feel like we can come up with something. I wanted to film for you guys. I just didn't know what I wanted to film. Obviously, I knew I wanted to film a makeup tutorial. I just don't know. There's so many shadows here, so I just figured we could just wing it and see what we come up with by the end of the video. So if you guys want to wing it with me, then just keep watching. I just need music today. I need music. I haven't curled my hair in like eight years either. Okay, so I'm gonna do a talk through and voiceover, I think. I like to do talk throughs for you guys because I know you guys like the talk throughs, but I feel like when I do talk throughs with you guys, I just talk forever and ever and ever and ever. And then I have like 40 minute videos and like not every video needs to be like a 40 minute video, right? So first thing I'm gonna do is, you know, I'm gonna prep my face. I'm gonna start by moisturizing, priming, applying a lip mask, and then we'll move straight on to foundation. I'm gonna try a new foundation today. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. It's like a two-in-one. I'm obviously gonna use concealer still, but um, it just intrigued me when I saw it at Sephora because it had this weird applicator like this. So I'm not sure if I got to my right color. The color that I got was 6.5 Buttermilk. They did have a ton of colors. It's just they looked a little tricky while I was there and I was kind of in a rush. So hopefully we can make this work. I feel like... It's pretty good. As you can see, my neck and chest area is darker than my face is. Um, so we're trying to match this area here. And uh, if it doesn't, hopefully we can just, you know, put bronzer on it and make it work anyway. So I just dotted the foundation all over my face. I wasn't really sure how much to use, but I feel like the amount that I put on my face worked out pretty well. I just dotted it all over the place and just kind of scraped it against my face. Scraped is not a good word. Maybe I should try something else, but I just dotted it. And then I took this beauty blender, which just seemed extra large to me. Does this, does this look big to anybody else? And then just blended it in as usual. Like I said, I feel like the amount that I put on gave me a good amount of coverage or yeah, a good amount of coverage. And um, I felt like it kind of dried a little fast though. Like as I was putting it on my face, I noticed that I had to work it in a little harder in some places, but not complaining, do really like this foundation and it's still holding up pretty good right now, about seven o'clock at night. <laughs> so first thoughts on this Clinique foundation is I actually really like it. I think the coverage looks really nice. It looks like medium, but totally buildable because I just added a little more here just to see if you could build it up to full coverage. I really like the finish. It's very glowy and dewy and healthy looking, which is usually what I look for in a foundation. If you watch my favorites, I feel like I said that so much. Um, but yeah, I'm loving it so far. I am a bit oily, so I wonder how it'll last throughout the day. But so far, I really, really like how it looks. Like my face looks so glowy already and I haven't even done anything. I've never tried any Clinique foundations. It's the first one I've ever tried. I don't even know if they have other foundations, but if they're anything like this one. So first thoughts is I'm feeling it. Oh, 
Okay, I'm stuck in the seat. <clears throat> I'm really liking this foundation. Like, a lot, a lot. Yeah, I love when I find a new one. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes because that's usually the natural progression that I go in. I always like to watch other people do their makeup because I like to see how they do it. Like some people do their whole face, highlight, contour, everything before they even get to the eyes and I just, I just can't. I have to move on. After I do my brows, I have to do my eyes. Weird. So I'm gonna use this palette. Are we still recording? We are. This is the, I'm not sure what palette this is. I think this is a neutral one. This just says artist shadows on it. There's no name. Palette 9, 9 Artist Shadow Palette, or Palette 9 Artist Shadow, okay? It's just a bunch of like shimmery neutral colors in here, so I'm gonna go with something neutral, obviously. Um, so yeah, let's let's see what we, uh, we uh, come up with. Taking the color I544, all Makeup Forever shadows are just numbers, in a MAC 242 brush, I'm going to pack this on the outer corner of my eye, being careful not to go too far up into the crease, and then to blend it out, I'm going to take an Igma, an Igma, <laughs> a Sigma E25 brush to further blend out that color, and I'm just going to repeat this step until I build the intensity to my liking. I'm then just gonna go right over that with S102 and pack that directly on top of the other color. Remember, I wasn't sure what I was really doing, so it was just kind of like, mm, I want that to be a little more brown because it was kind of purpley. So I'm placing that color right on top of it and then just blending it out more with the Sigma E25 brush. And again, just pack it on until it is to the intensity that you like. So pack it on until it's as dark as you like. Mm -hmm. Then I grabbed I514 and I packed that on the inner corners, but I didn't really like how white and icy it was. So I'm gonna end up going over that. First, I'm gonna take that E Sigma, oh my God, I can't even talk, that Sigma E25 and just blend it out with any excess on the brush. And then I'm gonna go back into the S102, which is that brownie color, and then just drag it further into my crease to kind of eliminate that whiteness that we had happening there. It'll still be lighter in the corner, it just won't be so like stark white. And I just meant drag it further over onto the lid, not up into the crease. I'm trying to not have a ton up there. I'm just trying to leave excess product in the crease. So taking this Viseart palette, I'm gonna pack a little bit of the matte brown on the outer corner just to add some intensity. Cause sometimes when you work with just shimmer colors and you're blending out, you can lose a lot of the pigmentation. So I'm just packing on a matte brown to the outer corner. The same steps, packing on and blending out. Then you can prep your lashes with mascara before we put our falsies. Well, before we put our liquid liner on, actually. For liner, I'm going to use the Tardis from Tarte and a really small 210 brush from MAC and just draw on a wing. I drew mine on pretty straight today. I was impressed. This 210 brush actually helps a lot with precision and just like getting it where you want. And then for lashes, I'm using these from House of Lashes. These are the Noir Fairy Blacks. And I just let them, well, first I put them on my eyes to make sure I don't have to trim any off. I didn't have to this time. I mean, I could have, but I was being lazy and I didn't. And then just wait for your glue to get a little tacky and then pop those babies on. Love these as much as I love the Iconics. These are another one of my favorites. and then you can draw over with a little bit of liquid liner just to disguise the band even more. I like to do this when the lashes that I'm wearing have a thicker band. For concealer, I'm using my favorite at the moment. This is the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer in CW03, and I'm going to conceal as I usually do, and then blend it out with a Real Techniques stippling brush, I think it is. I think, I'm not sure. Might be a foundation brush or a contour brush. Something like that. I'll list it in the bottom book for you. <laughs> So I've seen a lot of videos and blog posts and just stuff everywhere of things not to do in 2016. Stop baking, stop contouring, stop highlighting. And I was like, 
who is anybody to tell anybody what they're gonna do? And I just wanna tell you guys to do whatever it is you wanna do with your makeup, your clothes, your hair. Like, don't follow trends. You set the trends. 2016 says, no highlighting the tip of your nose. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna stop doing things that I was doing 13 days ago just because it was 2016. Like, if you like it, continue to do it. If you wanna bake your face, contour your face, highlight your face, do it. It's your life. Don't let these blog posts and these videos sway you from doing what you wanna do. Somebody really loved to comment the other day and were like, are top knots still in for 2016? And I was like, I don't care if they're out. If they were out five years ago, I'm still gonna wear them because I enjoy them. And I'm still gonna highlight the tip of my nose because I enjoy it. So I just wanna tell you guys, don't listen to things telling you what to do and what not to do. Do whatever it is that you wanna do. To set my concealer today, I'm gonna to use Studio Fix Powder from MAC, and this is an NW20. I use this sometimes when I'm feeling, you know, crazy and I wanna go all out. I just really like the brightening effect that it adds underneath the eyes. Just make sure you really pack it in there and make sure you get any creases out, otherwise it will be unforgiving. And then to set my entire face, I'm gonna use Studio Fix Powder again. This is an NC35, just to lock everything in and it just adds a little more coverage. And then to contour, I'm gonna use this Marc Jacobs Light Filtering Powder. I believe this is in 40 Mirage Filter. And then this is a small blush brush from Sephora, which I love for contouring. It blends everything so seamlessly and it's just the perfect little dome shape for contouring. So small blush brush from Sephora. Yeah, you guys always ask what it is. And then for blush, to add a little color, I'm gonna use Breath of Plum from MAC, and this is a dome brush from Sedona Lace, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of this to the apples of the cheeks and back a little bit, you know, you know, you know. And now we're on to my most favorite part, highlighting. I'm starting with the Anastasia Illuminator in So Hollywood, and this is an Anastasia brush as well in A23. I like to mix my highlights, so I usually always start with So Hollywood, which is a little bit more golden. And yeah, it, I mean, it pretty much speaks for itself. I like to just do it on the highest points of my cheeks and then above my brows and a little on the tip of my nose. And then I like to go in with Starlet, which just adds more of a white, bright highlight. And I like to go over everything with that. And then to make our highlight melt into our skin, I like to dampen my Beauty Blender with a little bit of Fix Plus and then just pounce that right over the highlight to get rid of any of the powdery look and just make it look like our skin is glowing from within instead of having it like glowing from the top layer of our skin. You know what I mean? Just dab it on a little bit. You don't wanna mess anything up, so be gentle here. Taking that same brown S102 color, <laughs> I'm gonna just drag that a little bit underneath my lash line just so it's not so lonely and naked down there. And then go ahead and throw some mascara on your lower lashes as well. And we are moving on to lips. I'm going to line them with Stone Lip Liner from MAC and then fill them in with Dose of Colors Stone Lipstick. So this is the final look. I actually really love how it turned out. I love the lip color. Again, it's stone lip liner with stone from Dose of Color Liquid Lip. I usually always line my lips with something before I put on a liquid lip just because I feel like I'll just draw it up to my nose if I don't. So I'm happy that I picked the color stone, the darker color, because I feel like it really amped up this lip. Usually looks that I don't plan are the looks that I like the most. Whenever I have like a specific look in mind and I try to do it, most of the time I don't like how it ends up looking so think about that when you guys are doing looks like if you're trying to recreate a look that somebody did on the internet don't be too hard on yourself if it's not exactly the same like I said when you just sit down and try to create a look I feel like that's when it comes out the best because you're not really trying you don't know what you're doing you're just kind of going with the flow so just try that out instead of trying to just recreate things like to the exact specifications of how the other person did it so I hope you guys like this bombshell look I absolutely love 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 how it turned out I think my wing eyeliner did me justice today too. It's very straight. It's not so 
crazy, but I like how it looks today. I like the whole face today, so I need to go somewhere because I just can't let this go to waste. So I hope you guys try it out. If you do, tag me on Instagram or tweet it to me. If you tweet it to me, I'll most likely see it. On Instagram, I get tagged in so many things and half of them, like, they don't even have anything to do with me. I'm like, what? Why am I getting tagged in this? So if you want me to see your recreations, tweet them to me and I will probably follow you because I like to follow all of you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know why I keep doing this. It's like the hand jive from Greece. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> okay, I've been sitting here for way too long. <sighs> I love you guys. I don't have anything else to tell you except I love you. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon.